back in the lab, let's take a quick look at some examples of scripting. And let me open up the Windows terminal over here, where first of all, let's do some PowerShell. One of the things that we can do with scripting is create reports. And for the CompTIA Plus, you don't need necessarily to know how to do every single thing in PowerShell. So I'll just show you this example that I'm connecting to SharePoint Online and I'm getting all the different sites that are of type personal site. So my OneDrive for Business sites, and then I'm displaying them as a table where I have my URL, my storage usage current, so how much storage it's currently using, as well as my storage quota. I actually do not have this report anywhere in the user interface. So that is a huge time saver, being able to use scripting to create reports. Now let's switch over to batch over here. If you remember a couple of modules ago, we installed a collection agent in order to get information about RPC in the asset management system. Well, I uninstalled it, but right now I want to reinstall it using command line. So what I will use is the MSI exec command. And you see we're passing parameters over here. So as you learn, you'll know what the slash I is, which if we look at a documentation, it means a normal installation. If we search for Q1 here, which is another one that we will mention, specifies there is no UI during the installation process. So we often call this a silent installation. And I'm even passing the site key as a parameter. So it doesn't ask the user anything. That's it. That is all I had to do. Now it will take anywhere from a couple seconds to a couple of minutes. And there we go, it has already been installed. So those are two quick examples of using PowerShell to create reports and using Batch to install an application on a computer, fully silent, no user interaction needed.